good night of Shabbos. This week we will be remembering, remembering the Holy Temple, remembering the priests and the Levites, and remembering the children, remembering the holy women, remembering all the activities that came together to make it a house of God in God's honor. And the question is, what went wrong, if there is such a question? We have the, the cynic approach. You cannot stand in the way of progress. The Romans were the big boy on the horizon, and they beat us silly. We just don't believe that. For whatever reason, we stick to the faith of our fathers that there was a revelation at Sinai that made us the chosen people, provided we follow the Torah. And the rabbis tell us that the reason for the destruction of the temple is because of Sinas Chinuch, hatred for no reason. Hatred for no reason doesn't necessarily mean that I hate a person and that I will pursue a person. I think that Sinas Chinam has its roots in jealousy and its blossoms in indifference. I'm not happy with myself, so I don't care about you. That's sinas chinam, hatred for no reason. But it's not hatred, it's just not caring. If I don't care, if I don't care, it's a form of hatred. Because if I don't care, I won't watch you. I won't know whether you need something. It doesn't bother me. If you're on the street begging for food, I just walk over you. Without thinking twice, I'll walk past you. How can we as a society, we as modern people, people with compassion, walk past a man or a woman on the street begging for food and not, and not even thinking that perhaps we put, should put our hand in our pocket? The reason for The lack of that response because of a lack of proper education. Socialism, liberalism, teaches people that the government provides, and that the needs of the, of the individual will be met by institutions. And so if somebody is asking for food, it must mean that the person either has gotten his food from the food stamps and just asking for money for drugs, or some other in inexplicable reason. But it's not our responsibility to take care of the public. It's the government. And so when you see somebody that's sick, hungry, naked, homeless, beaten, battered, asking for any kind of assistance, we're indifferent. Indifference is the fruit of hatred. Not a hatred of killing directly, but killing indirectly. I read a disturbing article last night. I knew about it before but it chronicles the ineffectiveness and the downright bigotry of a man who people think was a great American and a great humanitarian, Franklin Delano Roosevelt. Roosevelt could care less that millions of people were being murdered 
as long as it did not have an effect upon his reelection. That, unfortunately, is the mark of liberalism. Liberalism is interested only in its own power and only in its particular base. It cares not, it truly does not care about the pain and suffering of others. If it does, it pays some lip service to it, but will do nothing about it except it will say that you should do something about it. FDR ran the Evian Conference in 1938 for all the homeless Jews that were sent out from Austria and Czechoslovakia. Those homeless Jews were not accepted anywhere. Why? Were they going to be a burden on the society? Do you really think that the most economically viable community in the United States couldn't handle a few hundred thousand more? Do you really think that the people who got educated and pulled themselves up by their bootstraps, you don't think that the European jury were cap capable of that? Nonsense. FDR, if he wasn't a bigot, was certainly surrounded by bigots. He did nothing in the face of overwhelming evidence. And that leads me to the conclusion only that the true humanitarian was Eleanor. The man was an opportunist, was the right place at the right time, said the right things and got himself elected four times. But as far as his humanitarian value as a person, one can only say it was sorely lacking. As opposed to